And this is this is a free unranked game, so just to remind everyone. In case they don't remember. Hey Daniel, good morning. Good morning. Come you die so big in the middle, what happened? <laughs> uh I misread a fight. I see. Plain and simple. I I played a little too fast and just derped. <laughs> Well, actually, it's the middle and the top. Yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you gotta try some magic around F16 area somehow. Start, start from age 18. Hmm. Okay. Threaten to invade the bottom. Maybe he'll bump here. Then we jump, age 16. As expected. The thing is, even if you live inside, maybe you lose by 50 points, but let's save some part. Oh, wait. It's getting promising. Now, F12, vital point. Then we try to mess up his corner. Uh -huh. That's F13, F12? F12, yeah. Okay. Oh, the right, ice right. eating the Suji. Mm -hmm. He got a little bit scared. Uh, now in this lower left corner, let's see. Just a touch. D18. Uh, sorry, D17. Uh -huh. Cross cut. Oh, hang on. All right. Hmm. Now there's a little bit of chance. So what's your first instinct here? In order to separate D13. Mm, probably try, try D15 straight away. But that gives yeah, him yeah. a corner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if you kill the, the middle left and you save your group and... Right, right. You make some points. Go down. Yep. The corner was his anyway. And the middle. And yep. the top. <laughs> <laughs> He had a lot. So now he's giving back some. Uh, do we have time to go out? I think we should. Yeah, resist as much as you can. Connect. Maybe you kill the corner too. But probably not. Uh-huh. Mm, just descend or Hane or Kosumi. But let's see how the situation in the center. Probably Hane first, E14. I mean, you can also play C13 or Kosun. Uh huh. Wait, if you bump, he plays Atari, then you have Atari. Yeah, you're killing faster. So go F13. Okay. Now hang on a second here. Go down. Or if you Atari, he will probably Atari. Uh, B15. So yeah, right. let, let's descend. That might so. affect the corner too. Descend, because if he captures the stone, anyway, he's dying inside. So how much we came back with this? 40 points? Oh, maybe even more. So bamboo connection? Yeah, you're winning. Good. What? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yes way. <laughs> no, it's not like by it, ten. Yeah, oh, it's but not he counting those count as ten. Anything there, yeah. What? Black, Black <laughs> only has the top. And you kill this lower right corner. Right. I kill the middle, so one one kill each. <laughs> and now you're good. Uh wait. Play the Atari first, G15. Okay. And then protect. And take another liberty. I so mean, it's C C13. C13. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have any uh, chance in the same area with the middle group. But it's OP. Overpowered. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> 
Uh, go down. Yeah, I just I just had my lunch, so that's why. More <laughs> energy. Right. And G G seventeen. Or maybe we can call that Laner. Early dinner before the kill. Oh, yeah. now you can play Atari F nineteen and go down. So he didn't really defend. The guy felt strong killing half board early on. Uh -huh. And now he looks weak and desperate. But actually, it's not so big to capture the two stones here. Right. <laughs> you, you can play Atari on the right side, um, P9. So there's no Aji here at Q13, and so, well, he can push you block, you're fine. Kosumi in the top right corner, P2. That's a good move for both white and black. Uh -huh. So you better play it first. And now catch the two stones, F18. Ah, it's also big to capture B6, and then you have the honey in the corner. But when you play B6, maybe he goes down at A5. We'll see. Mm. Just... Connect, connect, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so how's the score now? Plus a lot. Uh, he's got the double Atari. Wait, Atari, Atari. Yeah, he can play that in center, so it's okay to answer. Just uh, O9, right? Yeah, yeah, no B. Good. Batman. So, five wins, eight losses, you're still safe. This one, uh, what does he want to do? Nothing, Atari, then push, then Atari again. Yeah, you can capture the top left stone corner, uh, B, B6. Mm -hmm. So, usually here, that's wrong. He was supposed to play on the first line, A5, because now when you capture, you have the Han incentive, so he has to go down again. And if he goes A5 right away, you push, he blocks, you take, and then you don't have a center follow up. Now here, let's see. If he goes Atari, he captures three stones. That's six, seven, seven points. But you can hunt in the corner center. So you gotta play A5 first. It's bigger. He needs to know B, you push, play everything center, then you come back and protect. Okay. Because if he takes six points or seven, you damage more in the top left. You can start the call, but it's no need. Now you're winning, so you connect. If you're 70 points behind, you cut instantly without thinking. <laughs> but not, not the case anymore. And now you block M11. So you build two more points there. Gotcha. But first center, you see, you took two more points in the corner in center, mm -hmm. then came back for the Gote. Gotcha. Timing, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm still bad at it. Take. Yeah, black, and don't answer this. Play top right uh, corner, Q1. Black is probably thinking you you switch to the Hikaru no Go power. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna, yeah. And you play moves beyond AI understanding. No, we play better than Lila today. Uh, wait. So, sent again. He has a, a honey sent at A15. So you can prevent that, but actually, well, you can let him have it. Ah, connect, connect in the top, J1. Because if he goes Atari, yeah, you need to. Yeah, Lila, the AI is dangerous, but we'll just I. Oh, the new Lila versions, I think, are very strong. Would be nice to see how they play against AlphaGo. So here he can take two stones, you take one back. Mm -hmm. You can prevent that too. On the left side he will go Hane. Oh, I'm curious of something. If you try B18, ah, yeah, yeah. Play, play C14 first. Okay. Because then we go B18, he will play C18, and you have Hane center at A16 and connect. Black M2. Mm. 
Oh, M2 doesn't do anything because you play N2 and then when black goes down, you play on the outside and he can't approach. It's one eye versus no eye. Okay, so instead of taking back, go B18 first. Okay. And then the honey on the second line, uh, first line, sorry, A16. Yep. So that gives you two points in center. And connect, yeah. Yep. Well, in the top right, when black plays P3, white still needs a move, like N2 or O2. But anyway, he can't go down. So that's semi, it's impossible. Uh, can you push here? No, it's not center. T take back P12. Okay. That's bigger. <clears throat> Uh -huh. So you'll you'll have to teach me how do you formulate a plan like starting at H like we did at H eighteen, like I can't even uh -huh. I don't know the, how to uh -huh. figure out a plan uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, H eighteen was threatening to to cut him here. J yeah, we we can load this in review yeah, after yeah. you're done for sure. And you had all those dead stones in the middle, so the idea was to use them somehow as bait to damage this bottom area. Okay. I didn't really hope to come back as spectacular as we did. <laughs> I mean, the plan was not to, to kill him and rescue everything. Of course, it's always nice, but we were supposed to uh, get some compensation for losing those stones in the middle, but he was generous. He gave the group back. <laughs> uh, okay, now what? Dun, 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 dun. Well, in the center, he can throw in and so on. Uh, you, you need to play something like H13. He might try a semi with that group, but... You have an eye already. So again, it is the same situation like in the top. Meari Menashi, one eye versus no eye. So in general, in semi it's good to get an eye. Uh, <laughs> faster than your opponent does. Uh, <laughs> this was the bamboozle technique, what we just K did. <laughs> K19. Uh, yeah, yeah, K19 and connect. Well, it's only one point in this case. I'm looking for other you... endgame and I don't... No, it's fine. It. Yeah, there are no other big moves. Oh, oh, he's going for a bamboozle. Yeah, but it doesn't work here. What you need is M16. Mm -hmm. And you should play it now. Because he was looking for... Ah, but even if he takes away the liberties, he needs to play S14, so you're Atari. Okay, here you need H17. And wait a second. Any cause? Ah, you can make the point at P3. He never played that. He could play it in center all the time. Okay. He'll feel all these liberties on the right side. But I guess you don't need another move. Because when he pushes G12, you can go G10, and when he connects, you play on the outside. E9. And if he tries to cut or to play Atari from the inside, it's self Atari. He doesn't have an eye, and those liberties are shared. So he keeps removing his own liberties, trying to remove your liberties. Mm -hmm. That's the key in this kind of semi where you have an eye and he doesn't. And in the top is the same thing. Yeah, he's trying that. Okay, we let him feel uh, P13. <clears throat> Today I'm having no beers, so I'm, I'm more dangerous. <laughs> yeah, play that move on the outside. G. Oh, oh okay. Sorry. No, it, it's also okay. Take. It's the same thing because he needs to feel three liberties inside. So when he feels one, you can play away. When he feels the second, you can already. Oh, you don't even need to approach because when he feels the third, it's actually self attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can ignore every time. Why M16 and not P18? Ah, P18 is minus one point. And M16 you need anyway, because when the liberties are filled... Ah, actually, we didn't even need P M16. I forgot there is no liberty taken at S14. Okay, now here he's trying to be sneaky. Yeah, you, you need to play P18 eventually. 
Okay, so just play it. Yeah, yeah. No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, play it. Otherwise, he captures. You know, he would just play uh, s seventeen or yeah. Now capture the stones on nineteen. Ah no, actually we needed M M sixteen because he had the throw in then Atari. Yeah, and it became. Yeah, it could be come a co with M nineteen and Atari. All right, we can look at that. So yeah, let's go. Actually, we should check the beginning also. No, how much time you have? You have to. Yeah, plenty of time. Oh, okay, plenty good. Time. Then we okay. can we can check this game and maybe play another one. With good start, we we can do a handicap game next week. Fair enough. You you're not ready to lose on six yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, let's so see. let's see how you died on half board. Okay. This yeah, I wasn't good sure for how to handle no, this. This is nice. Yeah. It was okay, but hang on, why why you attack from O four? Ah no no wait you you had the stone at O three, so he entered. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. You you could even double honey on the right side. Wait, don't extend yet, instead of K3. Oh, okay. So yeah, instead of K3, you just Yeah, you could play Q6. Mm -hmm. So you expect him to cut and try to catch the stones? Yeah, something like this, right? You, usually he plays just R6, he doesn't play the Atari. But if this happens, so let's see the good variation. So R6, just double honey also. You need to connect. Okay. That's the, the just like you connect solid, P6, black no B, R7, he has to get ahead. Then you attach in the corner, Q2. Oh, okay. Then he blocks on the outside, I mean R2, keeps the corner. Then you have the key point, R4. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Tesuji, black connects, Q4. And you pull back P2 which is center, because next you can cut and capture the corner. So he needs to go down, R1. He can also play R3, but more points if he plays R1. <laughs> also, it leaves more uh, quarters, but that's what it is. And now you can extend even further, J3, because you have a stronger wall this time. Uh, so when you play J3 and he plays some kind, I, I don't think he'll play an approach at H3 right away. He will play a Shimari, C5 or something like that. Or maybe he attacks the other Sansan. But even if he plays h3, you don't even have to invade. You jump out j5 and you make a nice box in the top. Right, and then you right. invade. So let's see what happens if he cuts. Because that variation involves some letters. If he cuts a 3 instead of playing Hane. Yeah, here. So cut p p6, you connect. Uh, Black will be ambitious and go try to ca capture at q7. Yeah, yep. You always go out, even if you have to lose the, the two stones. Uh, the proverb says you always add one and sacrifice both. But in this case, you don't need to sacrifice. Yeah. So you play Atari R5 to expand the liberties a little bit. And then cut. And now there's a Tisuji. But we got to check the ladder, actually. Because <clears throat> if the ladder doesn't work, that's a problem. So the ladder uh, would be N6 and so on. Mm -hmm. And it works. No, actually, it doesn't work in this case because he has d6. So normally, the way this Tetsuji works is to go r8. Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Yeah, in this case, you gotta play that way. But usually, you wanna play r8, then he turns, then you push, and then you start the ladder. But in this case, the ladder doesn't work. So you better play as you suggested the jump, uh, the nobi. Sorry. Yeah, if the ladder works, this is nice because he can't connect under. Gotcha. But you play 13 right away instead of 11. That was good. No, so you cut. Wait, wait, yep. go back a bit. That's all good. Yep. So Atari, Atari. No, we, without this. Yeah, yeah, just Nobi. So if he plays R4 to capture the two stone, the three stones, you play Atari N6 and squeeze. So you make a nice wall in the center. He goes out and then you play the net. All right, okay. And even if he connects under, it's not such a big deal. Because there are like five points in the end. And then you Atari from M7. Because the second Atari might be Gotte, so you don't play it. You just play one Atari. 
okay. M7, he captures, and then again you extend from the wall. As long, I mean, around yeah. e even even oh, for rather, the yeah. I, yeah, I four I three. Because if you play some peep, for example M5, then you go Atari on the outside in center, so then it's good timing. Mm -hmm. So like that, he invested too many stones in the top right corner for like ten points, and you have on the outside maybe 20, 25, 30, I don't know, a lot, at least sure. double. Good. Let's see. see the actual game then. So you could double honey. Remember the double honey here. Okay. Yeah, and this I invasion you don't need. You you right. still have the good. <laughs> yeah. You wanted something aggressive. It's better to uh, attack his corner like c5 or c6. Okay. Yeah. That's a good direction. Wow. He invades too. Yeah. So he got messy right away. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hane, correct. Mm, empty triangle. That uh, that's a sign of trouble. <laughs> but it's okay. I, I think it worked so far. No, it's it's good. Yeah, I was thinking it worked. Um... Hey, baby shambles. Thank you. Now, yeah, you kill that. It's good. You don't even need to capture that stone because you can capture the top uh, two stones. Right. Right. So anyway, when he captures his gote, yeah, you had to punish him uh, using those cuts. I took the fun variation. But, but yep, yeah, yep. yeah, here it's not so clear which Atari you want to use. So you better wait and oh, maybe gotcha. activate. You should activate that G3 by attaching in the corner, D4. Because probably, yeah, probably it's better to use Atari <laughs> J4. So now you should just took a D4 to see how he reacts. Oh wow! See, okay. see this guy style. I think he will hane, and then you cross cut, and you start another fight. You mean this hane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you can cross cut, because you have the stone at G three. Mm -hmm. So you may I get see. something in that corner, and you can leave that cut for later. If he plays this trumpet formation at J five, it's not a problem. He just uh, loses tempo, investing gotcha. another move there. So, well, it looks nice, but he put another move in a wall that's probably going to be meaningless. Gotcha. Now let's see what happened. How you died on that quarter of the board? Um, <laughs> I was okay. doing okay, and then I missed mm -hmm. something. Oh, I see. I think I think here you better sacrifice, so you better hane instead of no B. J instead of J seven, you should hane and give up the stone. I mean, go back a few more moves. Yeah. Yeah, here you better hane. He will cross cut. So you you can play this one. Yeah, he'll cross cut. You play Atari from H6. He goes back. Oh, H6. Okay. Yeah, if he plays Atari from behind, you're happy to take Ponoki. Then you play the other Atari, J8. He connects. That's already an empty triangle. So you sacrifice those two stones, but his shape is super over concentrated. And then again, D4. So you create some kind of potential in the center. Okay. And it's better than the actual game. Because yeah, like that, you sure. created a heavy group, it ran out for a while, and then he died big. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. You're good, you're good at create, creating dragons. <laughs> I, I less dragons. <laughs> so, Either for see. myself or my <laughs> opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you don't kill your opponent, you, you kill your own dragon somehow. It's true, it's true. Yeah, yeah. How to build a blind dragon. Here you should turn. Imagine you turn in the center at I7, he takes a stone. I mean, just look at the shape. But yeah, I, I oh, see you want to yeah. keep him disconnected with the three stones. But yep. you're chasing the the small group like that. Yep. You could turn, he captures your Atari from the outside and he's got the false eye. Yeah, here. Oh, so if, you, turned, if you yeah. turn, yeah, and he captures, he's already in a bad shape because that's a false eye and his group is still, I mean, when you look at that four stones formation, the L6, yeah, exactly. And now you play Kosumi, G5. So the entire group is on the run. So the baby dragon became a giant dragon. Yep, yep. And then you kill him. He would definitely cut here though. I had to <laughs> Yeah, and you jump. Or Atari and jump. Yep. I miss the, the fun part of this game. <laughs> the Fuseki. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's good to jump out. But probably you had to jump N eight so you can impact the stones on the right side. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, he went out, he can push, then Atari, Atari. And now he's out. Yeah, you gotta turn left, that's good. 
and jump again to the left. No, 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 no time oh, to go. Yeah, yeah. You have to take initiative. I mean, it's important to play g8 because even if he plays Atari on the right, you can ignore that one and uh, try to surround the top group. Yep. So if he goes L11, well, you can come back later and save the stone to, to fight. But mm -hmm. right now, surround g6. So try to make your uh, chase dominate the, the game somehow. Yep. <clears throat> So now I see how everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see how everything died in the middle. Yeah, too many cards, huh? Yep. Now he's well, out. I thought it would be okay, but. Oh wait a second. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Go go back a few moves. I think you missed an opportunity here. What if you play ten again, J ten now? Are we missing some leather? If he goes Atari and net, you capture the center stones. He's got only oh. two liberties. Oh my gosh, yep. <laughs> yeah, you, you shouldn't see this. <laughs> so you could have the center. But yeah, anyway, he will squeeze you. <laughs> and it's, it's actually still a good game for black overall. Okay. Because, because he built up the large yeah. upper left side. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And he, he will end up center. He will Atari, jump, you gotta take, Atari again. You capture, and then, I don't know, he plays some big point. For example, Shimari, D5. He's still looking good, overall. Okay. Interesting. But it's, it's better than dying. True, absolutely. It's like, I don't know, 30 points difference or more. Let's yeah. see. But you killed the right side. That was impressive. After giving up half port. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you took 25% back. <laughs> <laughs> So let's uh, okay. Oh yeah, let's, let's fast forward to to this year. Uh huh. Because I need, I'm just having trouble. Yeah, normally, normally he shouldn't play J18. J18 was a greedy move. I mean, the this A18. If you go back to moves, he played J18, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was supposed to play game or something like G16 to kill the central group tight, and then let's see the score estimated. If you play G16. He was greedy with that J18. I mean, he yeah, can let by a side or something. Yep. Yeah, you see? So this is a safe win for Black. But he went... Of course, he can still win when after he played J18. So so the plan is... Go back to the actual game. Yep. Normally, you would just push, right? <clears throat> G, uh, J17. Sure. And then if he blocks, you go AJ18. I mean, if you try to get something inside there. Mm -hmm. But I don't need to play the push and block. I mean, you can play directly age 18. You skip the exchange one, two, and you play three. Okay. And he he still played I18. I mean, he could go up um, J17. So like that, you don't have another forcey move. <clears throat> okay. But even so, it's already a good exchange, and it uh, helps you live in the corner. So you can still attach, for example, D17. Mm -hmm. And then he will hane, let's say he hane in the corner, c17, then you know b, e17, he connects solid, and then you play kema g16. So you're trying to connect to the dead stone somehow, but it's good enough already to live in the lower side. Well, okay. to catch up a little bit, but you will still lose the game if something like that happens, because he's got the peep of g13, and then he can push and cut and let you live under. Maybe he doesn't win by 65, but he wins by 35. Yeah, and then he can push through. But you don't answer there. You don't want to give him more. You will play G14, for example. So you try to give him less. G14, he pushes, and he cuts the tail. And already you came up a little bit, and then maybe you jump E14. This group seems alive already. Oh, and okay. when you jump E14, he turns on the left. But let's see the score now. This is still a 30 points win for black. Yeah. About that, huh? Mm -hmm. But you came up 35 points because you damaged this box around F16 area. Right. But what he can do to stay safe is to sacrifice the J18 stone when we enter age 18. Oh, okay. So, so the point is, if you try to escape by just jumping age 14 and so on, it's not going to happen. So that's why... Uh, I suggested this age 18 move because you come under and then it's easier to make a base. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, he was greedy. He tried to kill everything and he failed. 
he should give up something. I mean, if he still plays Kema G16 and you push and cut one stone, then he plays another move to reinforce that center, like C13, or maybe play something in the corner, then he still builds a big enough box. I mean, what you can do here is maybe attach H16, then push G17, then slide. So you leave under, but you don't save the middle stones like we did in the game. So... And then you play G G17 here. So you damage the the bottom more. And you keep this J17 just as a backup connection. He got, he goes no B. Mm -hmm. F. Yeah, and then you slide all the way to D18. So in case you don't have two eyes, then you come back and protect J17. But if you protect J17 and you leave in the corner, so let's say he separates you now, J17. Yeah. You just you just bump D17, he goes down. I mean C16, and then you play another move like C17 or B17. So you already damage the whole bottom side by threatening to connect. So for him, move number eight, J17, is just neutral. It's nice. better for him to try to squeeze you and force you go back and connect by taking one stone. And like this, I think it's still at 30, 40 points win for yeah, white, uh, like for black, sorry. 33 or so, but yeah, but... Yeah, it's... but the way he played in the game, he let you uh, hit the vital point, this F12, that was the magic. And then on the cross cut, he messed up. Because we sacrifice the bottom and separate the large group. So go back in the actual game to see the, to replay the sequence. That was the magic jump again. He didn't want to let you push and cut. Then peep first, because we're looking at E11 and somehow make some connections in the center. Sure. And then the attach. I think if you just play F16, it's not enough. Gotcha. Because uh, he will Kosumi E17, then you block, and he jumps maybe around E14. So it's very difficult to make two eyes in the middle. But even here, he could not be. Yeah, this was greedy. <laughs> and of course, cross cut is the only move, no? Right. If you want to uh -huh. fight. Yeah, he played a, an extension, but probably has to play the other one. Now it's already difficult for him. And you could just Atari and, and sacrifice. But it felt, I mean, when I saw the estimate score saying that you lose by 70 points, it felt uh, like you don't come back enough with E14. So we went all in pretty much. And then Hane take away the Liberty. The block is very good because you make nice uh, shape in the center. He can't cut you, and he has a uh, shortage of liberties. Now, if you just play Atari from the outside, he can connect under. Go back oh, one. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if we you do play this. G4, yeah, he will Atari. B15. Then he goes, uh, if you go out, he Atari again. C13. You go down, he Atari again. B13. And then you must oh. take, if you go down, you lose the semi because he will capture the stone. So you right. must take take the three stones, and then you have a problem with the left side group. Well, we live inside, but it's not the same kind of life. Right. So, actually, it's not even clear we live. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the problem, yeah. So it was better to go down and kill all. Uh-huh. I see. In style. <laughs> Yeah, now he can't do much. I mean, another move you can think about, it's B14, the Kosumi. Ah, oh, yeah, that's probably better, actually. Yeah, just B14. Like yeah, he captures, and then you hunt in the corner. Oh, this is nicer. So like that? Yeah, it's better for endgame. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, exactly. Because he's still dead inside. But, well, let's see, push, Atari. No, 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 we don't have time for this. We still need the bamboo. G14. Otherwise, the semi is different. Yeah, you need that uh, move. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> it's still better to play one instead of B15. Let's see. My bad. Misclick. <laughs> so, slight difference, but it, it impacts the end game to sure. play like that instead of going down. But And also in the top, you can show that variation with M2. I mean, what happens if black goes down? Ah, and I'm also curious what, what happens here with M16 if you don't play M16. So, oop, wrong stone. <clears throat> so if black goes down here, 
No, no, after you play the move, you play J1. Oh, right, right. If he plays it now, you answer N2, then he goes Atari, then he could play that instant. Eh? Right, yeah, yeah, after this, after this. Yeah, exactly. So now you play N2, and he goes down. Anyway, normally you need N2 when he plays P3, and then, yeah, you go down again. So when he tries to play Atari, it's self Atari. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can call this a double Atari. Atari on his stones and Atari on yours. Yep. And on the bottom side, someone asked why not P18 instead of M16. But M16 playing on the outside when you need to play that kind of move anyway is better than playing inside P18. If the game is by half a point, it's really important. That's right. So yeah, let's imagine. Yeah, after if if you just play, oh, actually you can play P18 in this case. But let's say you don't play anything. Uh, you play some other one point move or something like in the <laughs> top right p3 then he can throw in once oh. so let's say you play p3 to make an extra point it was it wise turn yeah then black can throw in one time you need to take then the outside liberties let's say we feel them p11 connect and take the other outside liberties to connect then also play n13 now let's say white plays away again because white is greedy as we know <laughs> h15 or something or no let, let's say i14 to false the i and now the trouble starts all right and now now black also feels j17 uh, threatening to false around h17 and force some moves inside okay and then the way black can use the RG, so if you play h17 to remove this problem here, he ah, it still doesn't work. No, not okay, quite. Okay, you were fine. Because when he plays Atari S14 and then he plays M19, you have time to play Atari S16. Uh, okay, you were good here, no matter what. So anyway, yeah, you didn't need to play. No, but, but the way black tries, it's throw in M19. But oh, it's not the case, sorry. yeah. My bad. Yeah, he needed more liberties on the right, and he doesn't. So you mean like a co like this? Yeah, yeah, if yeah, he tries yeah. that kind of co, but you can Atari S16. All right, so there was nothing, no RG there. But anyway, playing M17 is proper. Uh, sorry, M16. Mm -hmm. Even that, in this case, we didn't need it. It's minus one point. So you were supposed to win by how many? 30? Well, it, it was a 100 points difference, it seems from minus 70 to plus 30. It's incredible how big that middle became. Yeah, almost, almost plus 40. Wow. <laughs> That's how we rock. <laughs> Let, let's try again. Good gravy. OK. <laughs> New game. Keep it simple. But kill all if you can. When the chance uh, it's coming. And for those just joining us, we do free unranked games when Cornell is coaching. So mm -hmm. we are not damaging anyone's rank or pushing my rank up at all. No, I see your rank is full of X's right now, five in a row. For some reason, <laughs> yeah, I've been having trouble on Fox. Tygem, I'm Someone getting close to two dawn, but nice. Fox, I'm struggling a little bit. Probably you invade, you invade too early. You have to invade only when you're minus 70. To play. Oh, this is uh, kidding. Whoops. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. This is what uh, five minutes each and thirty seconds three times. It's okay. Yeah. So you're experimenting with this sun sun combined with the, uh, the five three. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see the chords. Okay. Uh, you can you can try a double approach here. Let's see what happens if you go Q six. Oh, interesting. Or you can try Taisha just like at P six. Those oh, are complicated. <laughs> yeah, those are complicated. Uh, why, why not? <laughs> go go up P six. Oh, mm. So tempted to just cut. <laughs> I know, I know, but then Black will push through and so on. Yeah. How about how about you attach Q three, pull back, and then the cut? It's an option. Because here you can play three in line, P3, and now it works to cut N5. Mm -hmm.
Hi Pierre, welcome to the kill. This guy you're playing has thousands of wins and losses. And he just became 1Q. Oh wow, yeah, five, almost 6,000 games. <clears throat> yeah, plenty. So now block the corner. Because then you can connect by taking the stone. And if black connects, you extend on the right. Oh, okay. Well, you can still extend somewhere on the right side. Where would you go? Uh, probably Q9. I think it's okay. You don't want to be over concentrated there. The Atari at S3 is big. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Honey, up or down? This guy is more aggressive than you. Probably... So probably he'll die bigger. <laughs> probably under. Uh, I think uh... Honey up. If you go yeah. under, I don't know what happens when he Hane also. R7. Yep. And anyway, he doesn't build much connecting under. Oh, where to do, where to go now? We kill some stones already. Yeah, I'm looking at R9 right away, but and he just... Weak groups inside the opponent's moyo. Yeah, it's good to make some buck inside your opponent's moyo. Which one? R9? R9 is yeah. good. Yeah. Let him connect under. Now what? Now I actually need to connect, but I'm looking at uh, ah, connect, sorry. 7. Oh, solid? Okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. Oh, P P7. Okay, yeah, it's good. Because you have the wedge. Well, maybe P9 was even better than let him have two stones. But don't, don't save that stone. Extend in the top. Like, uh, like two J4? space. Two oh, just two? Mm, no, just two, yeah. L3. Okay. If you go too far, he'll invade. Yep. And like this, if he captures one stone, you don't have to worry. Hmm. <clears throat> he answers there. He wants to cut you so you can defend. Which move? Ah, you could do the other one. Oh, the other direction. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean the one at O10. Because if he cuts one way or the other, I mean you had the ladder to the right. Like this, you rely on the ladder that goes towards uh, F17 direction. Sure. And for now, it works. But if you place a move like G17, you need to add another move. So you better pincer now, Q13. That was a reflex defense. It was. I was trying to be <laughs> a little too stylish there. Yeah. <laughs> now how to defend the corner? Um, with the attach like this, I would just stand up Q16. Mm, then you connect on the right side and you give him a ward. Right. I mean, he wants that direction. He wants you to connect low. So you go there, he blocks P16, you honey, he connects, you connect R14, and then he extends to L17. And we don't want to let him develop that direction. So you honey P18, he pulls back and you know B. Because on the right side, you're already strong enough. You can let him struggle in that direction. Now, oh, that's even worse. Now you Atari O17. So when black connects, he's in empty triangle. Therefore, he doesn't connect, but you take Ponuki and it's even better than expected. He's going to Q18. No. Well, okay. Well. Now you can surround this group with a Kema 014. Mm -hmm. And then you can Kosumi R14, which is annoying. Ah, smart. He wants to leave. Um, let's see. Pa, 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 pa. Can we kill with Q14? Normally you just have to cut right away, P14, but then he will right. play the clamp. Then you got a block and he goes Atari, you connect, and it's fine. You have a tremendous thickness there. So yeah, let's play stylish. Oh, no, 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 the other cut, P14. Oh. <laughs> but this one, this one, it's an option too, but it will end up in a call. This is actually fine. P14 because you're strong. No, 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 no. The other cut. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so the idea was to cut. Then he pushes you Hane or he plays Atari or counter Atari. You should always cut P14. Okay. I mean, now you're a little bit in trouble on the right side and he can push and go out. So, But play Nobi or jump. I think Nobi Q12. If you surround this group, you can still kill it with Hane R15. I'm sorry. I, to <laughs> I totally... Dirt. My brain was making 
all kinds no, of wrong signals. So. No, no problem, no problem. <laughs> He's stealing thrower. Now, N12. Let him honey. Yeah, you made the game more challenging for me then. <laughs> <laughs> for fighting training, you need life and death situations. Keep solving them so you recognize patterns. Mm -hmm. No, wait, wait, wait. Honey, park. Pom, pom. Okay, we can do that. Uh, you got a block, no? M11. Okay. This is M12. Okay. Oh my Let's God. see. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah. Yo, Yomi now Separate. O11. You gotta surround him first. And then we will see. Okay, connect under. You're fine. Uh huh. But that's a problem, huh? A slight problem. Because he can play. Ah, wait a second. Oh, you can play R13 here. He goes Atari. Then you connect. He connects. We cut. It's gonna be a mess. Nine. Well, we could also play Nobi. Yeah, connect. And then cut somewhere. Uh, honey here at R15, it's center. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, play R15. It seems we can't kill him anymore. But well, with so many misclicks, not so easy to kill. <laughs> okay, new, new battlefield. We gotta leave that area. 1-0 for black in this fight. Hmm. Oh, he gives you the corner. Nice guy. Uh, we had to cut first. My bad. Yeah, take the corner. R16. Yeah. At least a little something. Mm -hmm. Now, hmm, connect solid. All right, so let's see the score. How bad we're looking. Oh, wait, that's strange. Push, pom, pom, pom. Play a one space jump here. <clears throat> then bamboo. M15. Now you're okay. He can't cut anymore. Oh, wait. So. He's really thinking to, to kill M15 at some point in the game. How would you attack this L16 group? To be effective on the bottom side. Um... Not a lot of great places. Seven, you can take away the ba six, base at J17, but... Try, try I-16. Just realize we're in POME. Mm -hmm. So we gotta play fast and now block. Because like this, black is over-concentrated. And then Nobi. <clears throat> and extend to make a base, F-17. Huh. Okay, don't answer this because we will attack from the other side. In the middle, let's see if you want uh, play Kima to surround J13. Gotcha. And okay. Hane? Wait, Hane. Yeah, one Hane is good. K12. But now, instead of blocking, go L11. Because we might save the other group. This is timing. I mean, you can go N9 next and Nobi, and he's all dead. So he needs to do something here, like a Hane M9, and then you block the bottom. Aha, uh -huh, he noticed. Now I14. <clears throat> so he needs to live here somehow. Good, that's how you connect your stones. He has to jump. N18. 
or he can die when you jump m17 block this he's still in trouble oh wait so if you go down he plays a double up you jump ah, okay we can't kill attack from c14 okay it's better to keep this i19 in reserve uh go up yep. d14 there's a little bit of edge in the corner so you have a lot of outside thickness and the territory close game huh? <clears throat> seems to be in fact on the right side you can still use the edge of those four or five stones there when you jump n7 mm. attack the top left corner c5 yeah this game being such a fast game we don't have time to check too many options <laughs> but okay play the first instinct so 100 d6 mm -hmm. no be in the corner well in 30 seconds we still have time for checking two or three options but these are normal moves like c9 nothing to think about and just the to... extension to yeah c9. yeah and he needs to do something about the top side probably i3 now white is 27 <laughs> points ahead, looking good. Oh, okay. Uh, separate. B14. Mm. There's a combination here. <laughs> Let, let's try the bump. C8. Oh, I don't know this one. Okay. I think we had it before in some games. But okay, we, we can recap. Uh, Hane B7. Then cut. You're going to lose a few stones, but it's good. C6. Then go down. He knows this by heart, it seems. You mean... A A7, descent. Oh, okay. Because we squeeze him like hell. All the way. He will Atari somewhere. Then Atari from the outside, E7. You need to recognize this sacrifice. Then net uh, e9. Mm -hmm. Then he will cut you. We go Atari, then throw in an Atari and go down and so on. Oh, this way. Wow, that's a surprise move. So now Atari d9. He was supposed to cut. Then throw in. Oh, maybe he didn't want to take the four stones. He just wants to leave on the left side. But that's painful anyway. So you gotta play b7 and Atari from the outside. And if he connects, probably he doesn't. Now he has to play c10. If he connects, you just Hane, b10. Okay. Because then when he cuts, you go down uh, b5 and he has only two liberties. Okay, good. So we kill all. B10. He will play the clamp, thinking it's a smart escape, but only temporary. Because you connect, he connects under, you You're go B5, he connects again. Ah, okay. Just B5. Because you got three, he, got, he has two. Yep. Easy kill. Now you know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Atari. Uh, yeah. Or you could play fancy, you could play throw in A9 and then Atari. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't the case. So, mm, jump out. One space, jump. L5. Now we activate the edge of... Uh, ah, probably not. <laughs> I know you want to invade, but it's not really necessary. You can play a shoulder hit, I4. Oh, right, because we have so much center yeah, you have, anyway. Yeah, exactly. The squeeze the suji on the left. I think it's a tombstone formation or something like that. Uh, H H four. Oh H four. Keep going. Gotcha. Right. Just keep him low. No begin, yeah. Yep. And hang on a second, Atari Hane. You can make a lot of center. 
by playing what? The just clamp L9. Yeah, just L9 is enough. Shall we try to kill this bottom somehow? Okay, cut once. Then go out with Atari L7. He needs to Atari from behind. Hmm. Connect M7. So he wants to lose more groups. Well, he doesn't, but what can he do? Okay, Atari from behind. And you save the four dead stones, the zombie stones. Okay. It's pretty big. And he's still not alive. Oh, what you can do, let's make a big call. Just block L10. And when he pushes through, you play the cut. And when he connects, he's in Atari with everything. <laughs> so you don't lose much here. Huh? Now that was sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, even if you lose the, the four stones, now five, because you cut. But I guess you'll capture him faster. You build a lot in the middle. And this center is quite nice. You take back the group that was the, was supposed to be white in the beginning. Now he will re on the left. So as a cotret, what can we do? Take those guys. <clears throat> uh, can we threaten the bottom fuck, center? It's tough fuck, to. Fuck, fuck. We can threaten the uh, lower you can, left. You, you can play Q. Q10. Because when he connects, it's still Atari after you capture the call. So you, you just uh, threaten the tail. Nine. No, not the throw in. Oh. I mean, well, it works like this, but you should go Q10, and then when you take the call, he's in Atari. Ah, okay. He still wants to trade, then take that. But he should he should take the stone, then you take the call, he connects, you play Atari, he takes back the call. Go out. Yeah, it was quite successful like this too. <laughs> and go out again. Now don't die in the top. I guess you won't. Can I just cut? Him? Save no. something in top? Already you want to cut him? <laughs> <laughs> uh... No, no, just no B. Okay. Look at the center, it's so big. Right. In fact, we could also give him back those stones on the left. But, well. Now, wait. We don't die in the top, right? Yeah. Play H6. And if he cuts, you have to extend. <clears throat> so the center, it's 100 points. It's so coming. G, G, G6. G6. Okay. Bamboo. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, we're only ahead by okay, 90, now, 90 now, points right now. Now we have a problem. But does this work? Only 90 points ahead? <laughs> yeah. Solid, solid. Good lead. Uh, entry. Cover. This can be a little bit dangerous. Especially that he can play N6 in center. Oh, okay, hang on. Hane, he connects, you connect, he pushes, you block. Uh, you can block, I mean, cut this, K2. Okay. When he cuts, you take. When he connects or he plays the wedge, you go out there and connect. Then you gotta read the semi. But then it works to connect to J4. Okay, so just connect K3. Mm -hmm. These are all desperate moves by black. Cover. It's gonna cut, but we have more liberties. So let's count the liberties here. Yeah, but the thing is, if you just play uh, wait, if you play O2, he has to capture the corner. Ah, oh, yeah, you can start from O2. Okay. Because then you can also connect uh, on the outside, J4. 
how are the liberties here? Problem. You connect, you connect, it's one, two, three against three. Okay, good. Take away the liberty M1. M1 oh, first, so, yeah, because you live like this. Uh, sorry, not M1, N N1. Okay, yeah. Because when, when he goes in the corner, Q2, you can go down to P1, and then you make another eye. Normally, when you just capture the four stones like this, it's a dead formation. But here it's a bit different. Because when he goes P2, you play O1, and he goes down, and you make the other eye. Nine, with P2. Eight, so you create an eye seven, over O1. Five, four, three, Fu, two, so lucky escape. Two, <laughs> lucky red left. or rabbit <laughs> in this case. But let's see the score now. Fu, 100 points. Anyway, in the beginning, you should really check this P14 area. First of all, we had to cut P14, and then we had to cut P14 once Nine, again. Eight, seven, six, five, Have you seen four, the book Shape three, Up? Two. I've uh, heard no. about it. I haven't uh, you have, read it. You have it? I do not have it, no. I can send it over later. I'll send you an email. Okay. You, you should read one chapter every day, and then your skill will go to the roof. We were just <laughs> talking about this in my chat, too, about that book. So that's funny. Really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Someone said they were nice. having a bunch of problems with shapes, and everyone was recommending yeah, the shape. Yeah, shape up. Park is nice. Five, mm -hmm. four, three, two, yeah, I'll send it over. One. Ah, Black lost on time. Yeah, he couldn't figure out a way to kill it, but it's impossible. So let's go back to this lower right corner. Okay. <clears throat> Close to the beginning. <laughs> well, what's your email, baby shamble? I can send it, no problem. <laughs> yeah, here, this was, a, oh, wow, this was so painful. All right. Okay. I will send it after we're done with this review. So, yeah, in this case, you should just, I mean, th this is the ambitious way. Normally, you just play P14. Then uh, R13, this is what he wants. And then you block R12. And then uh, I think he'll go either Q, well, either Atari, it's okay for him to leave. Maybe he will just pull back R14. So you need to play another move, like Q12. Okay. That's why he's sacrificing that stone. Gotcha. But he's alive in the corner spawn and you have all this nice thickness on the outside. Mm -hmm. So playing the other way was actually the strongest move. Because you want to make him play inside the corner or to live in the corner in Gote. So the way to go out, when you play Q14, you want to make sure you keep P13 separated. So he turns and you should always separate uh, P14. Okay. And now when he pushes again, you just cover. And if he plays Atari, you play Atari from the outside. And when he goes Atari, you connect. I mean, you connect, uh, you still surround the group, uh, N16. And then he has to fight the core or eventually go back. Yeah, here you can fight the core a little bit. You play, I don't know, some Atari R4. You take the core back. Oh, okay. Well, it's a painful Kotre, but what else in Fuseki? And now, if he doesn't have Kotre, he needs to go R14 and leave, which is still painful. And then we just... Then you, you just block once. And then he connects, you leave it like this. But compared to the other variation, you separate this P13 and you build all that territory on the right side in center. Yeah. And now you play away. You go, you attack the top, and then you attack F17 and so on. So the okay. game goes on. Once you let him connect at P14, it was pretty tough. But then gotcha. he didn't really make much on the right side. So, True. And then he died a lot on the left. So shape up, it's coming in your direction. Okay. Kill them now. <laughs> you, you're ready right. to become a one done again. <laughs> All righty. Have a good weekend. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for the lesson. Thanks. Happy Easter. Thank you. You too. Ciao, ciao. Bye. 
All right, and as I like to remind everyone, be sure to support Cornell on his channel, which is twitch.tv slash Cornelgo. Um, if you enjoy the lessons, if you are interested in lessons from European Go Federation 7 Don, uh, hit Cornell up on his uh, IGS or KGS or OGS accounts. IGS and KGS is Cornell. OGS is Cornell 11. Uh, if you enjoy this particular content, you're learning stuff, you're having fun watching uh, these big kills and, and complex ideas, in my opinion, uh, of course, your bits, your cheers, your donations, your subscriptions, all of that helps me pay Cornell for his time uh, and keep this content going. Also, if you are interested in older lessons, uh, the archive of my lessons are being posted generally weekly on YouTube. They might not post today, but you can follow my YouTube there. And I think there's a link to Cornell's YouTube as well, where you can get content of lessons he gives other people as well. So be sure to support all those if you're into it. <laughs> Complex ideas. Daniel, you should stop dying everywhere. Indeed, Entrovix, indeed. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, so thank you guys for all your support, your love, and just learning with me and laughing with me. That is enough for me. Uh, but of course, any support you guys give beyond that it also helps. 